Well, hello boys and girls. Welcome to When I Feel Like It O'Clock. It just happens to be when I feel like it. And uh, as you can tell, I kind of just woke up, put on my suit, my tie. Not wearing pants, of course, because I believe in pants-free living and so should you. Um, last night I had my ass handed to me, boys and girls. It was not pretty at all. I didn't even count. I just know I was below 50% and that is not acceptable in my book. But it would help if coaches would let people know that they're going to throw Budai in instead of Vasilevsky. Uh, I wouldn't have picked... Uh, I might have still picked Tampa Bay. It's hard to say. But guess what? The reason why I might have picked Tampa Bay is I didn't know Vatanen was going to be in the lineup last night against Anaheim. So, if that was the case, I probably would have take, taken Anaheim. Uh, I also, but, you know, it's, it's hard to say. Uh, what other things that ha happened last night that threw me for a loop? Oh, Backstrom. Backstrom being back in the lineup. Poof, just like that. And uh, there was another goaltender uh, situation that happened. I was just like, what? The, what were they? Oh, yeah, right, Pavlik. If they would have, no, if I would have known about Pavlik, going in net in uh, in Montreal. I certainly would have taken Montreal over the Rangers. So those are three picks that I would have picked if I would have known these things. But I guess we all have the same disadvantages, boys and girls. And I'm uh, uh, doing videos, so I should be better. And I'm really sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into uh, some deep meditation. I'm going to talk to the creator today. We're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart about... Uh, what's going on with uh, um, how I can find ways to find this information from the confines of my basement that uh, other people don't get. So that should be interesting. But it's the creator. You know the creator. He, he does like crazy stuff like that. Anywho, uh, very disappointing. Uh, put me below the 80 percentile for the for the year so far. Like I think I'm 76.7 or something like that. 76.7 percent on my picks so far this year, which isn't too shabby. You're gonna have a bad day every once in a while. Just get yourself lubed up. Get yourself uh, one of your masseuses. I chose uh, masseuse Stacy last night, and she did very. You know, she got me all lined up and chakrad and everything and pampered and powdered and here I am try us out try it again this fine Sunday so let's get at her shall we there's only three games this Sunday and uh, for the first game I'm going with uh, the Ducks versus the Canes now now the Ducks played um, they're back up last night, and uh, they should be playing Gibson tonight. However, the Canes have been playing extremely good, uh, a very a lot better. Uh, they should have. Uh, oh, what the hell? Why do I want to call him Daly? You know who their starting goaltender is now. That starts with a D. <laughs> that was the Chicago Blackhawks back up last year. <laughs> My God, man, I'm so, see, I'm down, I'm down now, and when I'm down, my mind goes off into other Netherlands, and I can't remember stuff, but uh, I'm taking the Canes, anyways, at home, I think it'll be a tight one, though, I think it's going to be three to two, somewhere around there, uh, Pens versus the Jets, now, here's an interesting game, one that I wouldn't bet on. By the way, how do you drop the ball against Minnesota last night? Pens, Matt, pens? Like, really? Uh, gonna be playing, they're gonna be playing, pens will be playing their backup, uh, which is what the, the, the uh, maybe it's DeSmith, I think his name is, that they picked up from the minors, brought up from the minors because, uh, the other fellow shat the bed like three times in a row who we all know he should have and I can't believe they signed him as a backup because he was so horrible the last couple of years. And I'm not remembering his name either because I am upset. <laughs> but Jets should have Hollebuck in that and I really...
really like the Jets this year. As I've said many a time, I think they're going to win this one. And I think they're going to win this one fairly handily. I'm seeing a little bit of dissension in the ranks here in Pens. So I'm going to take Jets and I'm going to say 4-1. 4 one four one. I'm writing that down. Uh, Caps versus the Flames. Well, I got to watch. I picked the Oilers last night. And that's one that I was just dead wrong about. Um, the Oilers are uh, just a mess offensively and with their transition game. I don't know what McClellan's going to do. Uh, it's, it's getting Strom for Everlay. You might as well have got draft picks. It's It just doesn't look good all the way around. I think their best winger that I see out there besides Dreisaitl is who probably should be playing center on, on any team that has any wingers at all, and they just don't. Uh, one thing I will say is that Slepyshev should be playing higher. I don't know why they aren't giving him more of a chance. I don't see any problem with his game at all. He's playing really well. Give the guy a chance up there. He's got to do something. I like Kajula's game, but he's sort of like uh, um, the guy that they just got rid of there that they brought over from Montreal, and my head is just destroyed today. I can't think of anybody's name. Uh, but he's he's got all the t all the moves and everything, but he can't finish anything. He just Kajula is he just can't finish. And that seems to be the same for the rest of the team. But the problem I see, the biggest problem I see at Edmonton is that uh, they're playing too simple. They need to use their skill. They have some skill on that team. They got to use their creativity. They look like they're playing like robots and they look totally disinterested. Anyways, Caps versus the Flames. Caps looked fantastic, but it's hard to say if it was because of the Oilers playing so poorly or the Caps playing so well. Uh, I think it was a combination of both. Watching the Flames, I see much the, uh, the scoring depth there is really become an issue. Um, Smith has been playing really well, but there just didn't seem to be any fire there. And uh, until I see that, even though Caps are on a back-to-back -back and they've played a lot of games, they got Backstrom back in the lineup, I think they'll probably pull this one out, and I'm going to say 4-3. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42% today. Hopefully my brain's working better tomorrow. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.